What's going on, socialites, and welcome back to another Global Pokemon Society Draft League battle. We're here in week six with the showdown between the Tuscaloosa Town Flames and the Mighty Psyducks. This is a story of two teams going in the opposite directions. Tuscaloosa, once one of the top teams of the society, finds themselves at one and four, while the Mighty Psyducks once and I'm quoting Cole, head coach of the Driftvale City Dragapults here, the laughing stock of the society, find themselves at 3-2, and two, so doing very well halfway through this season. So we got to see how this plays out. Tuscaloosa bringing Torkoal, Venusaur, Charizard, their Suncor, the dynamic duo Palosand and Aselgore, and then Suicune. Psyduck matching with G-Max Venusaur, Regirock, Aerodactyl, Sylveon, Umbreon, and throw. Psyduck's lead off with Aerodactyl Sylveon. Tuscaloosa with their sun setup of Torkoal and Venusaur. Going to be spreading some sleep powders, I would assume. Let's see if Psyduck's prepared and brought either goggles or perhaps a lumberry on some of these Pokemon. I think we did see a Charty Berry on the Torkoal to protect him against a couple rock type attacks, but we do see a Nerve on the Aerodactyl. So if Aerodactyl can hit him with a Rock Slide, he will not be able to resist that very well. Looks like Tuscaloosa trying to decide what they want to do with their turn. They're running out of time, however, though. Ooh, they get it with one second on the clock. Venusaur with the Sleep Powder connects. Aerodactyl's going to take a nap now. That's the thing with Venusaur. He'll definitely be spreading those Sleep Powders around. Mystical Fire comes out. Bam! Whoa! That almost took out Venusaur in one shot. With the Sun Up, super powerful attack. Here comes the Eruption. Now, does Sylveon have Quick Attack to pick up the KO here on Venusaur? Typically, you'll see like Hyper Voice, Quick Attack, Mystical Fire, and maybe a Protect on Sylveon. Let's see. No, it does not look like it has... Oh, but Sylveon avoids the Sleep Powder here, so he should be able to pick up the KO. Yes. So Venusaur not doing a lot this game. Will Tuscaloosa be able to br bring it back from here? Or is Mighty Psyduck on the driver's seat now? Eruption comes out, though. No damage on this Torkoal. He's going to get a double KO. Whoa, with a critical hit. So both teams losing some Pokemon here. Losing that Aerodactyl is pretty big, though. Okay, so we see Throw. We see Charizard coming out from Tuscaloosa. And the last one is the Venusaur. Venusaur doesn't like to see Charizard on the other side there. Charizard going for the Fire Blast. Not even maxing here. Torkoal just going to keep clicking that Eruption. Such a powerful move as long as Torkoal can stay healthy. Like, you don't think of Torkoal as a threat. How derpy looking it is, but... I tell you, those eruptions do big damage. Venusaur getting big. Gigantamax Venusaur now on the field. And he's going for the max guard. Fire Blast. Not going to hit anything. A bulldoze comes out. Interesting. 
Doesn't do a lot though against the bulky Torkoal. Torkoal's already the slowest, so he don't mind. This eruption comes out, bounces off of Venusaur. How much will this do to throw, however? Hmm. Not a lot, surprisingly. Suicune still in the back for the Psyducks. This Venusaur benefiting from Tuscaloosa's Sun, however, doubling its speed with the Chlorophyll ability. Here comes a Max Ooze. Nice damage into Charizard. However, if this Fire Blast connects, that could be the end of Venusaur here. Oh, one hit KO. Ooh, an Ice Punch takes out Charizard, however. Here comes a Heat Wave. Chipping away at the throw, and throw's gonna be 2v1 here. I don't know if he can take down Suicune. Well, it looks like Torkoal is going to be maxing here. Is that correct? Throw with the Scald. In the sun still, however, so it probably won't do too much. In that position, Ice Beam was probably the better play. Oh, here comes Dynamax Torkoal. We don't see that very often. But with Charizard down. Here comes the Scald. This should do a little bit of chip. Yeah, a little tickle to throw. No burn. Another Bulldoze comes out. And a Max Flare. We're in the sun. How much will this do? Oh, throw able to hang on. Throw so bulky on the special side. Looks like the sun, however, does fade away now. And Suicune might be able to pick up the KO here with another Scald. There's Suicune with the Scald. Should pick up the KO. And throw goes down. So game one goes to Tuscaloosa. Pretty close game, though. All things considered, Psyducks didn't really get much out of their Dynamax. But Venusaur did die early as well with those powerful mystical fires coming from Sylveon. I like that lead though, although it didn't seem that Sylveon had quick attack. I think if Sylveon has quick attack, I really do like the Aerodactyl Sylveon lead because whichever one he sleeps powers, um, dual wing beat from Aerodactyl or the Mystical Fire plus a Quick Attack from Sylveon should both be able to pick up KOs against Venusaur. But again, he didn't go for the Quick Attack the first time. So I'm going to assume that he doesn't have it. Right, getting back into game two here. Psyduck's going to need to find a way to extend this to game three. Let's see. Tuscaloosa looks like they're going with the same sun core. If 
Oh, they're bringing Palosan instead of Suicune. Probably just didn't like the amount of damage that Suicune puts out when it's in the sun. So we're going to be going with Palosland as their number four this time. Let's see how Tuscaloosa adapts here. If they have Synchronize on Umbreon, that might not be a bad switch in against Venusaur. Because it would put Venusaur to sleep if Umbreon falls asleep. So you can try and bait him like you did last turn with the Aerodactyl and then swap out. Let's see here. Aerodactyl Regirock. Same lead from Tuscaloosa as last game, Torkoal Venusaur. Torkoal looking to get out of there, facing down two rock types. Doesn't want to have to deal with that. Palo Sand comes out. Venusaur, another sleep powder, connects onto Aerodactyl. Aerodactyl really wishing he had the safety goggles right now. Game would be totally different. Earthquake gonna come out, do some nice damage to Venusaur and Palo Sand. See Tuscaloosa debating what they want to do here. Earth power into the Regirock. Oh no, nope. Ch changing up a bit. Shadow Ball and a Leaf Storm. Interesting. Oh, Regirock switches out. Into Venusaur. That's going to absorb this Leaf Storm very nicely. Really nerfing the damage output of the opposing Venusaur on Tuscaloosa side. How much will this Shadow Ball do? Does some good damage on Venusaur, however. Now with the Venusaur on their side, I like a Protect here from Palosand. Or even a switch out into a uh, Torkoal or Charizard. Looks like, however, Venusaur is going to be the one getting switched out. Can't Sleep Powder the Venusaur on the opposing side. Venusaur and Venusaur Violence. Oh, no protect from the Palisand. How much will this Giga Drain do? Oh, one hit KO. And Venusaur getting all that health back. And Aerodactyl wakes up. Goes for a dual wing beat. And some nice chip onto Charizard. And Charizard takes some damage from the solar power. Tuscaloosa sending their Venusaur back out. Might be looking to put that Aerodactyl back to nap time. And a Fire Blast into the opposing Venusaur. Oh! A nice switch once again by the Psyducks. Although I think if you had Sludge Bombed into the Charizard, you would have KO'd it. But might not be worth it. Aerodactyl falls back asleep for the third time. Fire Blast goes into Regirock. 
Ooh, he actually takes a lot of damage from that. Regirock, not very specially bulky. Charizard being chipped away by the Life Orb and the Solar Power. Venusaur looking to target down that Regirock. Charizard looks like he'll be going for the Dragon Pulse. Interesting. Venusaur with the Earth Power. That should be enough to take down Regirock. Oh, Aerodactyl wakes up. What does he go for? Rock Slide. And it connects on both, taking out Charizard. So Aerodactyl's back awake. We'll see how long Venusaur lets that last. Psyducks are in a nice 3-2 to two position. They've been limiting Venusaur, forcing it to sleep powder constantly. Charizard's down. Palosan's down. That leaves just Torkoal in the back. Could still see a Dynamax Venusaur from Tuscaloosa's side. Although when facing down, another Venusaur still in the back. I don't know about that. Okay, there's Umbreon. We talked about it earlier. Does it have the Synchronize? Or will it be put to sleep? Venusaur looking to put Aerodactyl to sleep once again. Deciding what he wants to do with the Torkoal here. Going for an eruption. It's a strong play. Sleep Powder into Aerodactyl. For the fourth time, Aerodactyl takes a nap. What are you getting paid for, Aerodactyl? This Venusaur has not missed. Foul Play comes out into Torkoal. Not going to do a lot. Eruption does some good damage. Umbreon with the leftovers. Looks like Torko's going to keep trying to spread the sleep here. Oh, and we're going to see a Dynamax come out from Torko. Psyduck still have not used their Dynamax. They're just waiting for that Aerodactyl to wake up at the right time and get a KO. Has not been able to yet. Sleep Powder into the Umbreon. Does it have Synchronize? Uh, it does not look like it. No. Aerodactyl. Still taking a nap. The Max Quake comes out, getting some special defense bulk. Still wary that there is a G Max Venusaur in the back that could know Max Quake. I think we've only see it use Max Ooze. Sludge Bomb into Umbreon. Umbreon very specially defensive. Umbreon wakes up though, gets a yawn off. Interesting. Torkoal gain drowsy. Psyducks want to put some stuff to sleep for once. Aerodactyl still asleep here.
Here's G Max Venusaur. Psyduck still have not used their Dynamax yet, waiting till the very late game to click that button. Ooh, the opposing Venusaur goes first, gets a Sludge Bomb off on Torkoal. Now Tuscaloosa gets a Sludge Bomb off. Oh, Aerodactyl wakes up. It gets a dual wing beat off. Will they connect? It does. Torkoal with the Quake going into Venusaur. That should KO. So now it's just Aerodactyl, but Torkoal's taking a nap now, so Aerodactyl in a great position. He's going to be able to Dynamax here and get a very strong rock fall off. No Charty Berry to be activated due to the unnerve. And unless some shenanigans happen, I think the Psyducks are going to push this to Game 3. Let's see Aerodactyl getting swole. Torkoal, fast asleep. Aerodactyl with the rock fall. Will this be enough? Torkoal goes down. And the Psyducks pushing this matchup to game three. Wow, very interesting. How will Tuscaloosa combat these rock types? We'll have to see what they can do here. A couple very close games. See if one of these teams can get off to a hot start early and run away with it. I think if Psydux had brought goggles on any of their key contributors, a.k.a. Regirock or Aerodactyl. You would not be seeing a close game like this. Like if Aerodactyl had the goggles on. Oh, it would be cleaning Venusaur. Shooting off rock slides. It would be unstoppable. But we're not sure what item this Aerodactyl has. Might be a Focus Sash. That probably makes the most sense. Looks like Tuscaloosa is bringing Palosand to Selgor in the back. That's a nasty combo, and we do see... Uh, if you can take care of that Venusaur early, that could run away with it. But if Venusaur is left alive, I don't see how you're going to be able to set up Palosand. Right, Aerodactyl Umbreon comes out. Aerodactyl's taken what? I feel like it's been five naps now. It might have only been four, but it feels like five. Like this guy's sleeping on the job. I hope, unless he like clutches this game, I hope the Psyducks don't intend on paying him this week. Venusaur being able to put something to sleep every turn. 
and you see Umbreon doesn't have a lot of damage output, these eruptions are really adding up from Torkoal. He's getting some max eruptions off early, really getting ahead on the damage race against the Psyducks. Don't think Aerodactyl has Protect here. I think a Protect and then like a Yawn into the Venusaur might not be bad. Oh, he switches out. Ooh, into his own Venusaur. That's a nice play. This should negate the Sleep Powder. Yes. And there's the Yawn, but it goes into Torkoal. I would have rather switched out the Venusaur here, but now there's Eruption. Oh my goodness, what is Psyduck's Venusaur? Ooh. That is not good. That is not good. That was their key against this Palo Sand in the back. Now I'm not quite sure what they can do here. Aerodactyl comes back out. Torkoal's been yawned. I think Psyducks needs to hope for a Sleep Powder miss on this upcoming turn. Tusk. Tuscaloosa going for a Leaf Storm into Aerodactyl. That is a interesting move. And Aerodactyl's Dynamaxing. Not going for the Sleep Power in Aerodactyl this turn. The only time it hasn't done it. There's the Leaf Storm, it connects. How much does, almost does half. But Aerodactyl now with the Airstream going into Venusaur. And that's gonna take out Venusaur. Venusaur goes down. Selgore getting yawned. Well, that's going to allow Palosan to come out. And like I mentioned, with the Psyduck's Venusaur gone. It's going to be a real tough time for them to break through this Palo Sand. Palo Sand Dynamaxing. Does Aerodactyl with a plus one boost outspeed a Selgor? No, it does not. Not that that would KO due to the uh, Focus Sash. I'm just thinking again, if Umbreon had Quick Attack, you could double into it, but we do see that a Selgor still super fast. And he gets all three hits off onto Palosan. That is now a max defense Palosan. There's a rock fall. That'll be going into the Aselgor slot. Focus Sash will allow Aselgor to at least watch his own death at the hands of Sand. Foul play, not gonna do a lot, especially with the max defense. 
Oh, and Max Quake takes out Umbreon. Selgor goes down. So that's going to leave this as a two versus two game. Torkoal comes out. He'll get rid of the sand. What? Okay, Regirock. Mm. This is not good. I'm not even sure what the Psydex could do here. Torkoal could just protect here or it could go for a... I was going to say Earth Power into the Regirock, but it looks like... Going for a Heat Wave and a Max Guard. Interesting. Stalling out the last turn of Tuscaloosa's max. Oh, but they're not even targeting Palosan. Rockfall comes out. Almost takes out Torkoal. Will Regirock be able to clean it up here? Yes, he gets the Earthquake off. So now Palosan... Two versus one. Going for the Max Phantasm onto Regirock. Don't know if this will KO from here. Dual wing beat. You see how little damage this is doing with the max defense now. Phantasm onto Regirock. Oof. Big damage. And Regirock with the earthquake. Tickling. Tickling Palo Sand. Can't even feel it. And the sand's up, so he could shore up anytime he wants. You might need to see, like, three crits to take down this power sand. Like, double crits on dual wing beat, and then, like, a crit earthquake or a crit rock slide. Actually, if I was uh, Psyduck's here, I might be going for... Okay, he goes for protect... I might be going for rock slides here from Aerodactyl. Trying to just get flinches. Earth power. For some reason he went to the Aerodactyl slot there. Not sure why. But the protect on Regirock would have negated anyway. Yeah, I think I would be going for rock slides here if I were the Psyducks. You know, try to get those 30% flinch rates. But he keeps going for the dual wing beat. Not going to be enough. Oh, is that a... Speed tie then between Palosan and Regirock? Because I could have sworn Palosan went first on one of the turns. Earth Power, that'll take out Regirock. And now it's a lone Aerodactyl. Can he get the crits? Again, I think he would need like double crit from a dual wing beat at this point. No, he does get Palosan down to the yellow, though, so I guess 
you know, moral victory. But this Shadow Ball should clean it up here. And with that, Tuscaloosa takes down the Psyducks. Congrats to Tuscaloosa. Unfortunately, this will be their last game of the season as they have other stuff going on. But we appreciate them battling. Um, been a tough season for them. As always, however, stay classy, socialites.